Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve a problem for power screw. If the clamp uses 3 fourths of an inch, 6 square thread, so it's giving us information that the diameter is 3 fourths of an inch and there are 6 threads per inch, so this is not pitch, this is the reciprocal of pitch, so pitch would be 1 over 6. 3 fourths of an inch talks about the major diameter of the screw, so this diameter is 3 fourths of an inch. So in the screws, whenever the diameter is given, that's the major diameter. The frictional coefficients are 0.15 for the threads and for the collar. So for the collar, this is the collar. So the friction force that we are going to have between the object that we are clamping and also the collar would be 0.15. And also the friction that is present between the, the screw and the nut. So this part, we are calling it the nut. It's very different than bolt and nut expression that you are familiar with. So this is the power screw, this is the nut, uh, then there is a friction acting between the two. We call that friction F and we call that friction for the collar FC. But both of them are the same in this problem. The collar has a friction diameter of one inch, so DC is one inch. It's not the diameter, it's the friction diameter. So in that would be the average diameter. Calculation or to be based on a maximum force of 8 pounds applied to the handle. So if we, pam, we apply 8 pounds, that's the force that we're going to apply. I'm going to show it by P, so it's not confused with the clamping force that is acting here. That would be a clamping force. So we are applying this force at the end of the handle and hoping to get a mechanical advantage and have a higher clamping force F. So we apply P. And then we get F. And the distance is given to us. We know we can find the torque that this force is going to create. And the objective is to find the F. So if you write the value that we have, that's the diameter, major diameter, 3 fourths of an inch or 0.75. The pitch would be the reciprocal of the threads, the number of threads per inch, so 1 over 6. The lead would be the same as pitch here because it's a single start. The problem doesn't mention anything else. The mean diameter or the pitch diameter for the square threads is D minus half of the pitch. Then the friction coefficients are given to us. If F's are the same as mu's, so in this chapter we use F. And that's the diameter or the mean diameter or the friction diameter of the collar. If you want to find the torque, you have this 8 pound multiplied by the moment r you get the torque or the torque that is required to create that clamping force now we have all the parameters we want to find the clamping force so that's the objective we have tr notice that we use tr the torque to raise the load but that's the torque under the load so in this example of the clamp we don't have raising or lowering the load it's just the maximum torque, which is TR. We still call it TR in this scenario. So if you plug all the values, the only thing that we don't have is the clamping force. And if you look at it here, we have applied 8 pound, and we are getting 184 pound. So we are getting a very good mechanical advantage. By applying 8 pound, we have increased our load significantly. And we can even further increase the load. What would be the scenarios that we could actually have a higher clamping load? That would be a good conceptual question. One option is that if you make this longer. One option is that if you apply more load here. And making this longer, there is a chance that we have failure at this location. Uh, the other option would be making these threads finer. We could make the diameter of the handle a little bit larger, so we could make it longer and it doesn't it doesn't bend. Uh, so there are different scenarios that we could apply uh, to increase our clamping load. We can reduce the coefficient of friction. Here, the F C that we have and F uh, as another option. 